In this video, we are going to discuss about some popular operating systems. Now you will be surprised to know that initially the computers had no operating systems. Now in previous few videos, we have been talking only about operating systems, how they help in processor management, how they help in file management, memory management. I have been telling you that the computer cannot work without the operating system. So how the operating system, without the operating system, the computers were working? All the activities that we have discussed till now, the processor management, the file management, the memory management, device management, it was all being done by the programs themselves. Whichever program had to work on a computer, function on a computer, had to do all these functions itself. But as you can understand, that proved difficult when more and more softwares were being developed, more and more customized software were being developed. So what happened that demand for the standard operating system increased. Why? Because development of complex applications were also happening and computers were used by common people. Initially the computers were only used by computer scientists, those who were trained in computers. But when the personal computers were launched by IBM, then the normal people started using them. Now obviously they could not have programs that were taking care of the memory also or the file management also. So some new operating systems were developed. Let's discuss what they were. The first one was Windows. It was a GUI operating system that is graphical user interface system that was introduced by Microsoft in 1985. What was the high point? It has small small icons which could be just clicked and your program will just open. It was very easy to use, very easy to navigate. It is currently used by almost 88% of PCs and laptops globally. That will tell you that how easy to use it is. Next is Linux. Linux is an open source operating system. What does open source operating system means? When we talk of Windows, then Windows is owned by Microsoft. You have to pay some amount to use Windows. But Linux is just owned by a group of people who have developed it and they have released the software code. So you can take Linux, use it and you can also modify it if you want to use it. So anyone can develop a new operating system based on the Linux system. Now let's come to BOSS. Bharat Operating System Solutions. Just now I told you that new operating systems could be developed using Linux. BOSS is based on a distribution of Linux called Debian. Why this was developed? It was developed because it was localized to enable the use of local Indian languages. Initially, when the high level languages were being developed, then only English was used. But as it penetrated, the computers penetrated the markets, then the need was realized that if people could converse to the computer, give instructions, use the programs in their own languages. Maybe it's Hindi, Tamil, Kannad, Telugu or if we go to European countries, then their languages, French, German, Spanish, if they could use it, that felt need was felt. When that need was felt in India, then the BOSS operating system was developed. What are some of the important features of BOSS? It has a Linux kernel. That means that it is based on Linux. It has Bharat Office Application Suite called Bharatiya OO, Bharatiya Office Suite. It has a web browser of its own. It has an email service called the Thunderbird. It has chat application called Pidim. It has a file sharing application. It has a multimedia application of its own. So in this video, we have seen that there are many popular operating systems available to the common user who want to use the computer. In the next video, we are going to discuss about the mobile operating systems.